God that's rhema for your life right now. We've got to have that sudden impact. Remember, life happens in real time. And God reminds me daily, life happens in real time time it's day 71 we're on our christian financial wellness journey we're in day 71 of 300 days that god promised us the manifestation uh october preparation november manifestation december harvest time hallelujah we are in the manifestation month are you not seeing talking to is my head straight Talking to my active investing members, um, God has been doing so good for us. We're 15 days into the second month of the fourth quarter, and already we're, we've seen last week was the best week of the year. This week is already setting up to be the, uh, the next best week of the year. Every week of the month of manifestation will be better than the week prior to that. Today is just a good day. It is a really good day. We're into our lesson. We've got about 30 minutes, guys, and so now I'm going to open up the Q&A session. If you want to talk about something, you want to uh, discuss a, a, a matter, you want to open up a conversation concerning a stock, concerning a scripture, let us know. This is Harold Dillon Jr., the internet guy from Investment Group Partners. Who are we? We are a Nevada-based association. We're the parent association for Community Investment Club. If you're watching me live right now, you're already a member of the club. It is 8.40 a.m. on the west coast 11 40 a.m on the east coast we're entering to our lunchtime on the west coast on the east coast hallelujah but we're excited about what god is doing with us and through us you've got to get excited because god is giving you an opportunity today to finish the work to finish the work yes to finish whatever he called you to do hallelujah all right so what i'm going to do is i'm just updating this real quick um, I'm opening up the video, so if there's going to be questions and answers, um, hallelujah. Are we still live? Uh, let me just make sure. Good morning. And I hate that because I think that they stopped our, let me see here. Did they stop the video? All right, so I'm going to make sure that we're still live in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And it may have stopped the video. Every single time Facebook has given us these, these continuing with these. Let me see if we're live. Oh, we're still live. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, guys, anyway, we're at three minutes, 21 seconds into the podcast. Again, this is Harold Dillon Jr., the Internet guy from Investment Group Partners. We had a little technical difficulties. I try to keep going. No, I don't. I, I attempt to keep going in spite of what's going on throughout the day. Hey, guys, listen, we are talking about day 71, and that's what we're into. Day 71, learning how to make a decision. You've got to make a decision. We were coming from the book of James. I don't have the lesson up because I want to leave this up just in case we have any questions, comments, or concerns. But we started in James 1, 2. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. So when God begins to test us based on uh, situations, circumstances, conversations, people, places, and things, it is to test our faith in whether or not we're going to maintain our positions, whether or not we're going to still make the decision to follow God. You have to be accountable for the consequences of your decisions. You have to be. So all God wants you to do is make a decision. In making these decisions, you've got to make a decision that lean towards God and not towards yourself. Don't be selfish. You've got to make a decision that lean towards God and not towards the world. You've got to make a decision based on what God says, not what the world says. So we continue. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you do not know that, because you know the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may become mature and complete, not lacking anything. All of this process is, is, is growing you as a Christian, growing you as a, as a, as a, um, growing you as a righteous managing steward of God. 
and, and sometimes, guys, forgive me, my mind just goes, that's that old man moment. But we are training you. Who are we? Investment group partners. We train you on how to be a better steward of God, how to operate and function inside God's word throughout your daily journey. This journey cannot involve the world. It can't. Even though we've learned throughout our lives, regardless how old you are, I'm 55, so 55 years, I've learned what the world does. So now, and when I gave my life to Christ, I had to learn what would God do? How would he operate and function as a husband? How would he operate and function as a businessman? How would he operate and function as a father? You cannot lean on the, 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 the ideologies of the world. You can't. When you lean on the ideologies of the world, regardless of where you're going, those characteristic traits are fraudulent because they're not of, they're not real. They're of the world. Listen, Colossians 2 and 8. Before I go any further, I want you to go to Colossians 2 and 8. Listen, if you never joined us before, I'm Harold Dillon Jr., the internet guy. This is a pop-up profit opportunity. We're in the midday updates. It is right now 8.44 a.m. on the West Coast, 11.44 a.m. on the East Coast. The markets have been trading for two hours. Hours. Two hours, and guess what? This is a month of manifestation. We are still getting paid. Hallelujah. Let's go over a few key. While you go to Colossians, right after right after Paul visited, if you follow Paul's journeys, right after he visited, um, what was it? Ephesians, no, Philippi, he went to Coloss, Colossians. So go to Colossians 2 and 8. When you get there, just say amen. But we're going to go over a few of the best trading stocks of the morning. While we're here, guys, this is an investment channel, but I want you to understand that this is a faith-based organization. This is a faith-based channel. What we lean on is what God says about being a righteous managing steward. What God says about uh, handling his money. What God says about handling his time. What God says about handling his word. So the best trading stock of the morning of the seven neighborhood managed portfolios that we invest in is PEGY. Recommended by ding, 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 ding. PEGY is trading up 37%. 37 percent do you hear me normal stock trading up is somewhere between five and ten percent ten percent is excellent on anything five percent is money making three percent is average so three five and ten percent that's what we normally look for 37 percent ding 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 payday so what we have here is pegy pineapple energy we've been here before the, it, it trades on the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is one of the key exchanges that we like. 80% of the stocks we invest in throughout our seven neighborhood managed portfolios trade on the NASDAQ. Utilities is the sector. Why the sector? We look at 12 different sectors. Of the 12 sectors, we've recognized four as high risk sectors based on what's going on in the society on today. So we have to look at what the world is doing pray for them and ask God based on what they're doing what do I do next this is how we came up with the four high risk sectors the four high risk sectors include basic materials anytime you see it it's a tradable stock we're not going to hold on to it we keep it for as little as three days for as long as seven days uh, energy energy is a high risk stock for right now uh, utilities you no know, industrials excuse me and um so you have, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have industrials, basic materials, healthcare, and energy. Those are the four high-risk sectors. The other sectors are considered safe sectors. For right now, when we look at society and what's going on right now, we have to ask God, and we learn through Matthew 24, we talked about that today, that the world will have its fears. The world will have its news, CNN, Fox, MNBC. It's going to report on this. And because of what's going on in the world around us, people will be shook. But we're taught not to be shook. And from Matthew 24, verses 6 through 8, it reads, You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, comma, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. So we're not, we're not shook. We're not running scared like the world is. If the world is running left, we run to the right. You hear me? When the world is running left, we run to the right. Nation will rise up against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are to be are the beginning of birth pains. So we know Christ is soon to come back. So what God is telling us, I need you to be ready right now. I need you to be ready right now. And it's the same thing. We don't get excited 
or dismayed. We do our best not to get excited or dismayed about what's going on around us. We don't because it's the world. It's the world. I mentioned earlier today, I was telling my wife about the, uh, the, the boys that, got, that were murdered in Virginia by a football player. Four young black men lost their lives. Three lost their physical life. The, the fourth, they, they committed the crime. They committed the murder. Hear me. His life is over. Four families immediately affected. And then there's a spiral effect of all the other families that are affected by this. So what do we do in this day and age? Well, you go back to James. Here we are today. Learn to make a decision. I don't care what's going on in your life. And I'm not telling you what I heard. I'm not telling you what I read. I'm telling you what I know. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters. Whenever you face trials of many kinds, many kinds. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. In fact, learn to make a decision, grow up. We're talking about some of the best trading stocks of the morning, guys, how to implement God's uh, rules and regulations, how to implement into your life, how to look at your life today and take the scripture to handle the situations take the scripture handle the circumstances take the scripture and fix the problem take the scripture and correct the situation pegy one of the best trading stocks today is trading up pineapple energy it, it trades on the nasdaq that is the exchange utilities is the sector electric utilities and ipps is the industry so we're looking at the stock trading up 32 percent open at three dollars and four cent trading at three dollars and twenty cent previous close was 235 if you bought the stock yesterday you're up 85 cents for every share that you own this is recommended by ding 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 Volume is 37 million. The volume is high. They got a price target today on this stock, $5. Now, we've been in this stock before. We've seen it go as high as $5. We're in it today for profit. We're in it today for profit. The bulls are coming. The bulls are coming. The market is moving based on news that the world gives. Listen, they think it's this. They think it's that. But we know that November is a month of manifestation. God has already told us, here's what's going to happen if you do this. So in October, we did what we were supposed to do. We followed God's rules. We followed his regulations. We followed the guidelines. We did. We saw we were consistent with our monthly membership contribution. We were obedient to believe in it and buying some stocks, even though some of the companies look like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? But we have to trust in the Lord. And so, guys, when we look at these stocks that are trading now, the market is going up the market is going up and the and, and the world will tell you here's why it's going up you have to know that god reigns on the just as well as the unjust you have to know this don't be shook don't be amazed don't get it twisted it is nothing that man has done that has caused this to do what it's done god is doing this for us y'all better talk to me uh we're still in james um, we're still in day 71. It's still together. We got this Tuesday. We're still talking about the best trading stocks of the seven neighborhood managed group portfolios that we own. My name is Harold Dillon Jr., the Internet guy. We're in James 1, 2, verses 2 through 8. We're in James 1, verses 2 through 8. Um, verse 5, if any of you lacks wisdom, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. And so in every move that we make, remember, because we're teaching, we don't teach how to trade stocks. We're teaching how to be a better steward of God's money. How can you not look like the people in the Bible that God is talking about? He said we're the head and not the tail, that we're lenders and not borrowers. Are you lending to the, the body of Christ? There's a preparation period that God has to do for us in order for us to get to the next level of regardless of where we're at in the body. Some people in the body, it depends on your gift, you may be a prophet. So there's a level that God's going to raise you up, but everything he gives you is going to be related to being a prophet. You may be, have the gift of hospitality, which means that maybe you're an usher. Maybe you're the greeter at the door, but he's going to raise you up in a level to where, guess what? Your hospitality or you're becoming hospitable is now changing the lives of people because it's your smile. Your gift may be teaching. 
doesn't necessarily mean that you're a preacher. You may be locked in the Sunday school. Whatever God has for you to do as an individual in the body of Christ, he'll raise you up for that next level. He'll mature you. He'll prepare you. He'll get you ready. That's the preparation period. So when I'm reading in James 1, James 1, I want y'all to hear me. If any of you lack wisdom, what do I do next, Lord? You have to ask God. You should ask God. That's what the Bible says. Who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given unto you. When we're talking about stewardship, one of the key things to stewardship, to the characteristic traits that God's going to give you as a righteous managing steward is to first trust in him. First believe in him. First, you've got to believe in him. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not into thy own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways, and he, he alone, will direct thy path. So we've got to trust in God. That is one of my living scriptures. Regardless of where we're at, what we're doing, before we move forward, trust in God. Hallelujah. We're 16 minutes, 18 seconds into the podcast. If you're just now joining us, guys, I'm Harold Dillon Jr., the Internet Guy. This particular podcast is being brought to you by Chevrolet. I did it wrong this morning, so Chevrolet, please forgive me. We've been emailing General Motors, emailing General Motors. They finally gave us a shot, and this particular video podcast is being brought to you by Chevrolet. You may see Chevrolet in the background. All their commercials are going to run. I'm going to be wearing their symbols. When you see people wearing a sign or oh, they're advertising for somebody whether they know it or not think about the women that buy the gucci purses advertising for gucci michael uh, uh what is it cole is it michael i don't know the purse i don't know what i'm talking about but they're advertising for him the question i would have do you own stock in the company and the stuff that you're wearing do you own stock in the food that you're eating do you own stock are you making a a, a reinvestment into the things of where you're spending god's money See, God is teaching us how to be better stewards. Better stewards of what? His time. What are you doing in this 24 hours? You got 24 hours in a day. How many people have you blessed today? Because God blessed you to be a blessing. How many people have you called and, and smiled at? How many people have you called and said, hey, just want to encourage you this morning because God has given you the gift of encouragement. Maybe you got the gift of teaching. We just talked about that. How many people have you taught this morning? It is 8.55 a.m. So we're nine hours almost into the morning. What have you done? <laughs> The morning starts at 12 a.m. We're in the third day of the of the week. The third day of the week. Don't let the don't let the world fool you with its ideologies. Sunday is the first day of the week. Monday is the second day of the week. We're Tuesday. We're in the third day of the week. Y'all better talk to me this morning. Hey guys, we're talking about Christian financial wellness. We're in day 71. If you've never joined us before, this is a pop-up profit opportunity. My job is to teach you how to be a better steward of God. I follow biblically based scripture that tells me how to move and operate in a space i'm not used to i don't need the books i don't need the downloads i all i need is scripture when you can navigate through god's scripture every answer that you're looking for is right here the bible tells me i'm in james if you're just now joining us go back to james and i'm gonna go right back to the stocks and you're gonna see what god is saying about being a steward of god go to james james 1 James 1, James 1, I'm in verse 6. If you, if any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault. It will be given to you. Watch verse 6. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like the wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. So when you come to God, you can't doubt. You just can't doubt. Listen. I'm going back to the best trading stocks of the day. So I'm going to refresh my screen. I'm talking to my active investing members. I'm talking to those that want to become active investing members. I'm talking to our self-investing members. I'm talking to our learn as you earn members. I'm talking to those that just wanted to pop in and be nosy. Hear me out. Best trading stocks of the day, PEGY, number one, up 34%. It took a midday dip already. We're about to hit lunchtime on Wall Street. It's going to be 12 o'clock on the East Coast, 9 o'clock on the West Coast. Stocks trading up 34%. Ding, 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 ding. Recommended by $3.14. Second best trading stock trading up 13.19% and paying a firm, A-F-R-M, a firm, a f R M. So if I break it down, A is in anointing, F is in faith, R is in righteous, M is in Mary. A firm, a firm, a firm is those those uh those things those apps one of those apps that allow you to buy something today and pay for it over four payments 
If you haven't seen that yet, guys, listen, you're using technology every day and you're not profiting from the technology. See, the world will convince you to buy something and you don't want to be the owner of the thing that you're buying. If I eat at McDonald's, I'm going to own a piece of McDonald's. If I, if, if, I, if I buy a Timex watch, I need to find out if the company is, is trading publicly because I need to own a piece of what I'm wearing. I, I hope I'm making an understanding for you guys. Wisdom. Glory be unto your name, God. So we're talking about a firm, AFRM, a firm holdings. It trades on the NASDAQ. Remember, 80% of the stocks that we buy trade on the NASDAQ. Why the NASDAQ? Because the NASDAQ serves two purposes. We need two purposes. The Dow Jones is just an index, a barometer. It measures 30 of the largest companies in the world. That's all it does. But the NASDAQ, it is a barometer just like the Dow. It measures all the companies on the NASDAQ. Here's, it gives you an indicator on what's going on, plus it's an exchange. Wisdom, whatever we do, we ask for wisdom. It says, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God. We're asking God about everything. So NASDAQ is the best trading uh, exchange that we like. Technology, technology is a safe sector. There are 12 different sectors that we find. We identified four as being high risk. What are those four high risk sectors? Healthcare, energy, basic materials, um, healthcare, energy, basic materials, and industrials. Those are the four high risk sectors based on what's going on in the world. Energy, why? Putin decided to attack Ukraine. He 20% of the oil that he normally sells to the world became void because the world started stopped doing business with him. That's why your oil prices went up. Started February through now, we're still feeling the effects of that 20% void that the Russians took out of the world market. So energy stock spiked. But they don't stay at the spike level. So we buy energy as a high risk sector. We buy those stocks. We buy that sector. We buy those stocks in that sector. But we only hold them for three days, up to seven days. They're profit only. Industrials. Whenever there's a wartime, industrials will pick up. Plus, there's new things coming out. There's a whole new frontier that we're investing in called space. Everybody wants to go to space. Elon Musk has SpaceX. Jeff Bezos has his own rocket. Sir Richard Branson from Virgin has his own rocket. Everybody has a rocket. Well, that new technology, that's industrials. You open up a door for more business. Well, so we're creating this new stuff, electric vehicles, industrials. So that's why it's a high risk. It's not going to stay there. It's going to move based on noise, based on news, based on catalyst. So two of the four high risk sectors, one is, uh, is energy, just told you why it's high risk. The next one is industrials. The next one is healthcare. COVID-19, need I say more? From COVID-19, we've had eight different diseases. I may be exaggerating a little bit, but eight different diseases. So healthcare has a tendency to spike. One reason healthcare spikes the way it does is because it, every healthcare company that's coming out with something to solve a disease, a problem, or situation, they have phases. Phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. And based on what the phase they're in will determine if the stock will spike. If they say we're in phase three, FDC just launched this. Guess what? The stock will spike, making it high risk. So what do we do? We buy that sector or we find that stock in that high risk sector. We buy the stock, but we don't keep it. It's not an investment. It's a tradable stock because four of the 12 available sectors, four of them are high risk. Why do we invest in the sectors? Because God separates us. We use the same characteristic traits that we use that God uses for us as individuals to separate us from the world. Be ye separate, says the Lord. That's what a sector does. It separates and identifies everything in this particular sector belongs here. Let me give you another example so you can help understand. We are the body of Christ. I may represent the eye. So that means that I'm part of the face. That's the ministry. Even though I'm not the nose, I'm still part of the face. So most of the stuff that I do are going to be related to the face because I'm the eye of the body of Christ. Y'all hear me? The thumb has nothing to do too much with the face. It can touch the face, but it's not operating in that area. It's more operating with the arm. Y'all don't want to talk to me. See, a lot of times we don't want to follow where God has placed us at. There's no way that the thumb can be the eye. It can't. But sometimes what happens is we get caught up in wanting to do something God didn't call us to do. And that's going to hurt you in the end. Oh, it's going to hurt you in the end. 
it's going to hurt you in the end because God's going to say, you're going to say, he said, in the last days, they're going to cry out to me. Didn't I uh, cast out demons in your name? Didn't I save people in your name? And I'm paraphrasing, didn't I do this and didn't I do that? And God's going to say, I never knew you because he didn't call you to do it. Just because you can work the ingredients, just because you can do what thus saith the Lord don't mean you've been called to do what you're doing. I want y'all to hear me on this because th this is where the world fools you. It tells us to eliminate God from certain parts of our living, our daily living, in order for it to, to work. That's a lie. That's a lie. My job is to teach you how to be a better steward of God. We buy stocks. We do it together as a community. So that's called group. That's called group portfolio club investing. We buy these stocks as a community it gives us greater buying power. Where one person tried to do it on their own, we we reduce and eliminate the risk that an individual investor may have. When you participate in group portfolio club investing, you allow for a greater return at a lower risk with a low investment. And so when we do this, everything we do is based on scripture. Every 90 days, we get a report. That report tells us what our money is doing. But in order to get started, you've got to first find you some disposable income. And I'm talking about the investing part. You have to find you some disposable income. That's step one on anything you do. We're 26 minutes, 23 seconds into the podcast. My name is Harold Dillon, Jr., the Internet Guy. Hey, guys, this is Opening Bell. We're at mid-morning updates. It's 12 o'clock on the... So it's afternoon on, on Wall Street. Whenever I give updates, you'll see the posted updates that say afternoon on Wall Street because we go off Eastern Standard Time. I'm in Las Vegas, so right now it's only 9.05 a.m. So it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Good morning to some, good afternoon to others. The afternoon updates have got us seeing that... Uh, let's look at the markets real quick because the markets are trading well. I don't even know what else to say, but hallelujah. Thank you, God, because God already told us what he would do with us. He told us October was a preparation period. All October is saying, open up your full service brokerage account, download your digital wallet, get yourself ready because God says, I can't put new wine in old bottles. So we needed a new place for the new money to go. Open up your brokerage account, full service brokerage account. And so we can feed you. When harvest time comes, y'all don't want to talk to me. Hallelujah. I'm waiting for my, uh, my, my internet to update, guys. Listen, we're 27 minutes, 26 seconds into the podcast. This is Opening Bell with Harold Dillon Jr. And the guy, this particular podcast is being brought to you by Chevrolet. Let me move out the way. That's one of them Chevrolet commercials. Chevy is built tough. Man, listen, they've got some great new products coming out. They're going to be sponsoring um, the next two days. Our pop up, uh, our pop up profit opportunities, our our video podcast, and some of the on our pages you will see Chevrolet ads. So just so you know, we signed a deal with Chevrolet so they can help pay some of the bill. Y'all better talk to me. I used to be in the car business, so it's easy to contact different uh, manufacturers or what we call OEMs, original equipment manufacturers, and they decided to go ahead and sponsor me knowing that I still have some influence, to God be the glory, to where people want to buy uh, vehicles, and hopefully we can do a good job for them so they can stay with us. Y'all better talk to me. All right, so we were looking at the best trading stocks of the morning. And uh, my E-Trade is acting crazy this morning. Let me see if I can get back in. Guys, listen. Right now, we know that the markets are trading up. And we like and we thank and praise God for the markets that are trading up. Uh, I'm waiting to give you real numbers on where the NASDAQ is. Real numbers on where the Dow Jones is. Real numbers on where the S&P 500 are. Based on what uh, the, how the day is going, I'm believing and trusting God for a larger increase. We did set goals. Um, and we asked God about these goals. These were financial goals because what does November do? It's a month of manifestation. I'm going to keep talking about November because it is a month of manifestation. God is showing you what I'm doing through you guys. And so I need you to respond and see what God is doing. If you say nothing but hallelujah, if you post nothing but a heart, 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 you've got to see what God is doing. He's had us a year into this. So a year later, the, the month of manifestation comes. December is the month of, it's harvest time for us. It's harvest time for us. And I'm just waiting, guys, because we don't want to go longer than 30 minutes. And I just hate it that we got a little technical difficulties uh, with my E-Trade not loading. 
It's actually this is my computer, so I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna get frustrated. All things work together for the good of them that love God, Romans 8:28, and them that are called according to His purpose. Guys, listen, we're gonna come back. We got another update coming. We're gonna have a, a after lunch or a lunchtime update. This is a pop up profit opportunity. This is Harold Elam Jr., the Internet Guy. It's day 71. We're still talking about trials and tribulations coming from James uh, 1. Two through eight. Go to that scripture, read through, and you'll better understand. Watch the video prior to this one, and you'll better understand. We're doing shorter segments so we can reach more people. Hey guys, it's good morning, good afternoon to some, and good morning to others. It's Harold Dillon Jr., the Internet Guy.